If there was a perfect year to extend the Fantasy Football Championship to Week 17 and allow for a two-week finals, this is that season because Alvin Kamara forced many owners, myself included, to concede defeat early after he went off for six touchdowns on Christmas. If you are one of those players that plays in a league that has a Week 17 championship, let's help you win and mount that comeback. Hello, everyone. Happy holidays and congratulations again for making it in to the Fantasy Football Finals. Welcome to the Radio.com Sports Fantasy Football Show. I am Jordan Cohn flying solo this week. But as usual, we will have waiver wire suggestions, stream team options, and a stealthy start to help you mount that comeback if, like I said before, you played against Kamara in Week 16. We're going to get started right away with our waiver wire suggestion of the week. And that player is Malcolm Brown, Los Angeles Rams running back, going up against the Arizona Cardinals in Week 17. And it seems fitting that our waiver wire suggestion segment for the 2020 season ends on the running back carousel that we've spent so much time focusing on. This time, again, we're going to be focusing on Malcolm Brown. It's really just a case of who is available. Cam Akers was ruled out in Week 17 due to a high ankle sprain. Daryl Henderson got injured during the game in Week 16 with an ankle issue of his own. That means there's only one guy left standing in the backfield, and that is Malcolm Brown. He could be in for a huge workload against the Cardinals in Week 17, especially with quarterback Jared Goff unlikely to play with a broken thumb. It's a near must-win game for the Rams to make the playoffs, though a Bears loss will also get them in. So look for the Rams to rely heavily on their one established backfield presence that's left standing. I'm also going to tentatively mention one other name, and that's Darwin Thompson of the Kansas City Chiefs. Andy Reid has not yet declared whether or not he will rest his starters in Week 17 against the Chargers, which is one of the reasons why fantasy playoffs are so commonly overlooked in Week 16. But you could exploit this potential decision for him to start the backups and look at Thompson as the team's lead running back against Los Angeles. There isn't a huge sample size to look at, but he could be in for a huge role. It's a dark throw, but it could be one that pays off. Now we're gonna jump into the stream team section where we have a quarterback, a tight end, and a defense recommendation, all of which are owned in fewer than 50% of leagues. There's gonna be a slight theme for the QB and tight end connection here. We're gonna go with Kirk Cousins, Minnesota Vikings quarterback against the Detroit Lions for our stream team quarterback. Neither the Vikings nor the Lions have too much to play for other than pride in week 17. And one team has a lot less to be proud of after a disastrous 2020 campaign. That is the Detroit Lions. They were just shredded by Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A 47-7 loss. Six passing touchdowns from Brady and Blaine Gabbert after he came in as backup. So now Cousins gets to go off against that defense. Cousins has thrown for multiple touchdowns in all but one of his past eight games and is the number eight fantasy football quarterback per game over that stretch. Week 17 should present no problem for the veteran quarterback, and he should roll right ahead to finish off a a season in which he already has set his career high in touchdowns. And so it makes sense that the stream team tight end is his tight end, Irv Smith Jr., again, going up against the weak Detroit Lions defense. Uh, He has taken the reins from Kyle Rudolph in a formidable fashion, finding the end zone five times in his past five games. Week 16 was a two-score effort, as was week nine against, who else? The Detroit Lions. Only Dalvin Cook has more red zone looks than Smith over the past four games. And of the tight ends who are owned in fewer than 50% of leagues, a group that air quotes boasts such reliable names as Chris Herndon and Cole Komet in terms of guys with similar ownership percentages, you can't do much better than the second year tight end for Minnesota. And finally, our stream team defense recommendation, we're gonna go with the Arizona Cardinals going up against the Los Angeles Rams. Again, I mentioned before, Jared Goff has a thumb injury, a broken thumb, an injury the NFL Network's Mike Silver says will eventually require surgery and could keep him sidelined for the rest of the year. If he doesn't play, then it's obvious why you would want to choose the Cardinals defense in a must-win matchup in Week 17. If he does somehow pull a Matt Stafford and play through this pretty tough injury, then you get to start a defense who's playing against a quarterback with a broken thumb in his throwing hand. Uh, It's a win-win situation regardless of what happens with Goff, and so I think you should feel confident rolling with the Cardinals in a must-win matchup with huge playoff implications. And that is our stream team segment. Finally, we're going to end on the stealthy start segment, a guy who has started in fewer than 50% of leagues last week, and that guy is going to be running back Antonio Gibson of the Washington football team going up against the Philadelphia Eagles. 
The Eagles have nothing to play for other than the spoiler in Week 17. It was the passing defense that got absolutely torched in Dallas after Fletcher Cox left with an injury. But the Cowboys running backs didn't do so badly either. Ezekiel Elliott picked up 105 yards on 19 carries, and C.D. Lamb found the end zone on a late rushing score. Yes, he's a wide receiver, but it was still the rushing defense that was gashed on that play. This time, it'll be the Washington football team looking to defend their claim to the division. And with Taylor Heineke at the helm and Terry McLaurin potentially still dealing with injury problems, Antonio Gibson could play the hero. He's done it before. He completely smoked Dallas on Thanksgiving for three scores and 115 yards, and he returned in Week 16 where he left off after dealing with the turf toe injury got 61 yards on 10 carries in a game with a poor script he should have a major role against philadelphia they should lean on their stud antonio gibson if they want to pull off the division victory and so i like antonio gibson as a good running back play for week 17. there you have it that does it for the week 17 episode of the radio.com sports fantasy football show and the 2020 season as a whole of this show. Thank you for tuning in throughout the year. We hope we have helped you out. Good luck in your championship. Be on the lookout for plenty more off-season content coming your way and have a safe year.